giants. That's... that's... Inconvenient. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. Do you remember the way to the witch's house? Yes. The woods with the blood red leaves. South of the lake. I know just where to go. I hope she made it back from Alfheim and can bring Lemire back. He seemed nice. Before you cut off his head. Stay on the path. Right, right, I know. I can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Aesir god. Balder! And you fought him! And won! Yes. One of Odin's sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. You know, it's silly, but I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did leave Midgard, except for the serpent. Maybe the last of his kind. Are you the last of your kind too? Is that why you don't like to talk about my the... kind? I mean, your family, before mother and I, where you came from, mother, the father. Now is not the time for that. Yes, sir. Fucking break! Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No, Fab. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again, hmm? Let's see the damage. Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Hmm. Do you eat him well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Times he gets so wrapped up in his work, Sentry has it the sense to sip us up. And if he does remember, good luck getting him to cook his own meat. Guess I got all the stomach in the family. <laughs> Along with the smarts. You miss him. What, that spit fister? What do you know? I just mean Hey, that... do you mind? Trying to concentrate here, already on a break from my break. I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If in your smarts, you'll find him.
boy, what is the path back to the witch? First, we need to find a boat. Do you remember the way back to the witch from here? That way, behind the big statue of Thor. I wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight, couldn't she? Yes, she fought beautifully. Any good stories to pass the time? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? There was a man I knew a long ago. His stories were brief and purposeful. Sounds fun. Do you remember any? Huh. There was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happens? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You haven't told a lot of stories, have you? Dog here? Huh? The water dropped. And the serpent rose. Right. I knew that. Think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft. And we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No. But you may feed it to the fish. Okay.
I bet this will lead out. Hey, this does more than decipher those Muspelheim runes. It also contains the travel room. Should we go visit the fire realm? Andreas, here! Yes, Father! Nova! Oh, very smart. You did it. Turn back Asu. Guess the gods aren't welcome here. <gasps> there he is! I hope he remembers us. Another marker. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. What it sounded like in my head, anyway. Charlie. Another one of those sandals.
Can you read it? Yes, sir. Death to the Raven God, Lord of the Hang. Father, she is here. It is so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait. Where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me. Now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. Now, what's this about a head? Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? Take him to the table. Hey, Mille. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well... Thankfully, his head hasn't decayed much, and his brain is still intact. <sighs> nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water, and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It worked! Let me see him. Mamir? You there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the witch in the woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either? Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir, once yes, but no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. What? Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? It's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist.
So, Mamir, why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Balder. He claims nothing harms him. Aye, Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mimir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broken. Serpent. There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! You scare up that alchemist what needed finding? knocked on your door. Yeah, he just showed up and started a fight. He said he wanted to know something. He said, I know what you are. <laughs> oh, well, we'll circle back to that later. What exactly did he want to know? I was under the floor by then. He said I already knew what he wanted. Perhaps he mistook me for another. <laughs> That's quite interesting. like the heat, Brock. Heat's damned useful in my line of work. Even makes space itself more pliable. Take those magic doors you love so much. Round here they all go right to one another. No prodding from old Brock. Go up yonder and wake some up. You'll see. Getting around moose pools or cinch. Long as you don't end up cooked. Oh, almost forgot. Brock, this is our new friend Mimir. We've, We've met. met. Why didn't you say so? He, he knows, knows why. why. I, I know, know why. why. You, know, you why. know why. Quiet. No more of this. Know what? I'm sorry I brought it up. Can't you and Sindri just patch things up? Whatever happened couldn't be all that bad. You're family. Now don't be lecturing me about family. I ain't the one what forgot what her name stood for. What we made... The weapons we made were legendary across nine realms for more years than I can count. You just don't throw that away on account of one bad... One bad what? You One bad nothing. Ain't you got somewhere to be? Hey, where's your beast of burden? What do you mean? I ate her. Prepped bits of her out just a while ago. What is wrong with you? What? Her milk ran dry. She was your friend. Then she'll be happy I'm so well fed. Shit bricks, boy, you got a real sentimental streak, know that? Don't get yourself confused out there. I'm getting back to it. Come on in, man. So much for peace and quiet. Sorry you wasted my time. <laughs> Wow, it's hot here, but is that snow? Ash, it only falls like that for great fires. The whole realm is a great fire, the source of fire itself. 
And all the sun and stars, if legend is to be believed. Should we believe? I mean, we're here, and we're not on fire. Not yet. Well, you know, I suppose it's cooled considerably since the dawn of creation, hasn't it? Niflheim isn't exactly ice these days, either. It's in the nature of things. Extremes are tempered by time. Fires burn colder, men grow old and grey, heads are chopped off and attached to belts. Such is life. Uh, okay, Mimir. Magni and Modi. Two bigger twits you won't likely find in the halls of Asgard. They'll do anything their uncle puts them up to. They are fools. Well, dangerous fools, to be sure. When they work together, they're formidable. But too often it's a petty competition. Terribly strong, even as children. I remember the time Hrungnir the Brawler fell upon Thor. Another time, Ed. Alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If in your smarts, you'll find him. Now put my lips to the horn. you made in honor of Thor, and seen as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber. He was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim.
What is he doing? Making sure we're headed in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. That one of the peak where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is, and it's not far. He looks kind of mad for a moment there. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me, I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. 